Hi everyone, this is me Bilal here from microcontrollerslab.com. In today's tutorial, you will learn how to install Xilinx ISC and how to download it from their, their website. To download this software, simply go to uh, Google and type this Xilinx, Xilinx ISC download. After that, go to the second link, download ISC design suit. Click on this and here you can find a full product installation ISC design suit and you have uh, two options you can uh, use it for Linux and Windows if you are using a Linux uh, on your system then you need to download this software from this link and if you are using Windows you can you download it from here its size is almost 6.18 GB so it will take a lot of time to download so uh, I have already downloaded it on my system so uh, after you download it you will uh, find this folder and in this folder uh, just simply go to uh, X setup and double click on it it is, a, it is a huge software so it will take a lot of time to install so just double click on it and click next if you have if you have installed any uh, any antivirus software on your system so they recommend you to uh, uh, uninstall it or stop it while installing this software so I have not installed any antivirus software on my system so simply click on next and then accept these terms of condition and again click on next and uh, here uh, you again need to set their terms and condition click on next and here you can find what you want to install so we have a lot of options but uh, we are installing only uh, ISC design suit system edition we have ISC web pack edition ISC, uh, ISC design suit logic edition DSP edition but we are installing uh, ISC design suit uh, which we will be using for over uh, very log type or VSD type code writing so click on next then now you need to select uh, from this what you want to what you want to install so I recommend you to install all, check all the things if you are installing the software and uh, if you think you are you uh, if you uh, using just for very log or VHDL simulation then uh, you can uncheck these uh, install cable driver etc but I will be using this software for um, my FPJ designing as well so I will click I will check all these links and click on next after that you need to select uh, where you want to install it and uh, I want to install my C folder and click on next after that uh, it will show you what you will install but simply click on install and it will start installing uh, on your system so it will take some time to do, uh, to extract files and install and uh, uh, it will almost take uh, 15 to 25 minutes total to install your software so uh, let's uh, let uh, this uh, install on my PC and uh, I will come back to you so we, <coughs> so we are almost done with the installation and uh, <coughs> only uh, only uh, 10% is left because I have not connected uh, my Xilinx uh, board uh, with uh, my system so it is giving me this to connect it but I will not connect it so it will uh, I will install it later so just click on don't install So you have done with the installation and uh, now click on finish.
okay when you're done with the installation simply go to windows and click xilinx So here is a folder of Xilinx ISE. So simply double click on it. You will come up with this window. It is a very heavy software, so it will take some time to uh, open. So uh, uh, I think I need to restart my system. But uh, when you uh, done with the installation, you can open your software with the help of the psycho. Uh, actually, there is there is one thing you need to consider when you install uh, Xilinx ISC on your uh, if you are using Windows 10. You need to uh, make sure you are using uh, following steps to uh, to uh, run it on Windows 10. So I will include this uh, in the description of the video, so you can uh, you can uh, you can avoid this issue. I have already written all the things in the file, and uh, this software has issue with Windows 10. So I will provide this. Uh, 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 description in the description of this video so you can uh, run you can use this software on Windows 10 thanks for